Hello all, SEO Noctum here with another mod spotlight for Starbound. This time I'm taking a look at three smaller mods. First up is Garden Bot. This is a handy mod for those who don't really like taking the time to deal with their farm on a regular basis. This mod allows you to create a Garden Bot, which is a cute little Roomba styled robot that will handle all of your gardening needs. It harvests crops when they're ready and plants new crops in empty spots. Your garden bot will place all of the crops and seeds in the nifty little crop bin that you place at the end of your row of crops. Now garden bots can't handle steps, so you will need a separate bot for each layer of your farm. They occasionally suck up seeds from other rows if they get within range of a seed before the other bot picks it up so you may find some wheat mixed in with your carrots. This can easily be solved by increasing the distance between your rows if you find it to be annoying. These bots also seem to have a bit of a warm-up period, so it may take a few minutes after placing a new bot before it starts harvesting your crops. Don't worry, just be patient and it will soon be tending your farm at record speeds. If you find your garden bot straying too far away from your crops, Take advantage of the garden markers. These tell your little bot where your garden is located and keeps it from wandering away. When you're ready to pick up what your bot has been harvesting, just interact with the crop bin and all of the crops and seeds will transfer to your inventory so you can get to cooking and fill up your kitchen in no time. Next is the description plates mod. This is a simple mod that allows you to craft a variety of signs to use as labels for the many chests and containers you'll soon fill up in your journeys. No longer will you need to open a dozen chests to figure out which one has all of your musical instruments. This mod comes with a significant amount of different styled plates, so you'll have no trouble finding the right labels to match your ship or house. Each style requires appropriate materials to make, so if you've got your eyes set on the higher tech LED, neon, and laser board signs, you may need to stock up on some more ore and electronic components. This mod also gives you a stamp tool, which lets you create individual letters, so you can even make your own signs that say whatever you'd like. This mod is great if you want some easier organization without having to rely so heavily on your own memory. Another mod that goes pretty well with being organized is the Persistent Containers mod. This mod allows you to keep all of the contents of a chest inside when picking the chest up. This means you no longer need to deal with the overflowing contents of a broken chest filling up your inventory when all you really want to do is move that chest from one room to another. This is unbelievably helpful when relocating your base. As an added bonus, I can confirm that it is in fact compatible with the Placeables Overhaul mod, which made me very happy. All three mods are very easy to install. Simply download the zipped file for the appropriate mod and extract it into the Starbound mod folder which can be found at C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Starbound, Mods. For the Persistent Containers mod, make sure you extract both files included in the zipped folder. And that's it, you're good to go. All three of these mods work very well, are very handy to have installed, and improved my gaming experience. They're all very well done, and I strongly encourage you to head on over to playstarbound.com and check them out. The links for all three are down in the video description. Thanks for watching!